Brett Hall is live at Lemoyne College, where he's been talking to one expert about New York's relevance when the presidential primary comes here in April. Brett. Yeah, we're a little bit more than two months away, Matt, from when primary day comes to this state. And there aren't many political campaign signs around the roads. At least I haven't seen any. But that does not mean that the candidates don't have New York State circled on their calendars. Let's have a big, big victory. While all eyes currently lie on New Hampshire, central New Yorkers understand the importance of this presidential race. It's interesting to see which direction the country's going to go in. But what do these early primaries mean for us? Well, historically, you could actually argue it doesn't do a whole lot. Jonathan Parent is an assistant professor of political science at Lemoyne College. The reasoning behind it is that it offers momentum to whatever candidate wins it. Parent says in presidential primaries, we're really voting for delegates that we're sending to the July national conventions. The larger the state's population, the more delegates it has. So yeah, the primary, the New York primary matters. And this year it's actually scheduled to be right in the middle of Super Tuesday and when some of the other big states like California vote. So it, it really could make a bit of a difference this year. So far, interest appears mixed. Some are following the race. A little bit. I was looking at the Iowa results and everything. Others? Uh, no, not really. I've been trying to ignore most of it, actually. <laughs> Regardless, don't look for any campaign stops to happen in central New York. We vote as a whole, and so if you were going to do that strategically, you'd probably spend most of your time downstate, particularly in the city in New York, um, Long Island. But do look for many encouraging everyone they can to vote. But if I can vote, I do plan on it. Who specifically? I'm not sure. And Parent goes on to say that most political sciences, like himself, are going to keep an eye on voter turnout of younger people in these primaries. Reporting live at Lemoyne College, I'm Brett Hall. Thank you, Brett. New at 11, the result of the Baldwinsville School District's $23 million capital project vote is in. Voters approved it 883 to 3.